Welcome to the next session of ANSYS APDL. In this session, we are going to discuss about a simply supported beam which is subjected to a point load. We have already done this numerical in the previous class. There is only some difference in the loading. So we are taking up this numerical again. Let's start with preferences. Structural, OK. Then I'll go to preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete, add, beam, two node, OK. Close this. Material properties, material model. I'll go to structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. I'm using structural steel as the material. So these are the properties of Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio respectively. Next, I'll go to section, beam, common section. I'll take the width as 10 and the height as 10. This is a cross section, so it doesn't really matter. You can take any value. I'll go to modeling, create key points, inactive CS. The first node is at 000, and the second one is say at 500 length, like the previous one which we have taken. Then I'll go to lines, line, straight line. I'll choose the two key points. Okay. Modeling is done. I'll go to meshing, size control, manual size, global size. Let me say the number of divisions. That is how many elements we want to take. Let me take it as five. You can take any number. Okay. Then I'll go to mesh, line, I'll pick all so that meshing can be done easily. Then I'll go to plot control, numbering. I'll change this element in attribute number to element number. Okay. Now I can see how many elements are there on this beam. Then I'll go to loads. Define load. Apply structural displacement on key point. The first one I am going to assume as fixed. And the other one, I am going to take as a roller. In the previous one, we had taken both the key points as fixed. So for roller, the value of uy is supposed to be taken as 0. Okay. Then I will go to force or moment on nodes. These are the nodes in between here, here and here and here. Four nodes. They are not key points. So, I will go to the selection of the first one. Okay. In the Y direction, I am going to apply the load. You can see here, the direction is Y. So, let me apply as minus 50. Apply. Let me apply something over here. Okay. Say it is minus 100. Apply. And at this point also, I can apply some load. So, say it is minus 60. Okay, I have applied some load randomly. Next, I'll go to solution, solve, current LS. Okay, the solution is done. I'll close everything. Then I'll go to general post processing, plot results, deformed shape. I want to see the deformed plus undeformed shape of the body. Okay, so this is how we can see the original position in white and these are the deformed positions. Also, I can see the contour plot of nodal solution. Say I want to see the degree of freedom, displacement vector sum. Now here you can see I can choose either deformed shape only or I can take deformed shape with undeformed model. So I'll get both of them. Okay, so here I can see the deformation of the beam. Now these colors are indicating certain values which you can see below. Next, I'll go to nodal solution. I want to see the stress on the beam. I want to see the one mice stress. Here again, deformed shape with undeformed model is chosen. Okay, so this is the stress over the beam. I can see the element solution, stress, one mice. I can see only the deformed shape or both of them. I can go to list results, nodal solution, degree of freedom, displacement vector sum, ok. So I am going to get the listed values of degree of freedom, that is displacement that is possible for each node over here. 
Now these are the node numbers, six of them and their respective displacements. Next I can go for element solution, stress, 1 minus the stress. So here I can see the stress over the entire beam. Individually for each node. So I can find these values here. So this is how a numerical for simply supported beam which is having one end fixed and the other end is having a roller and point load applied to it can be solved. I hope you have understood the procedure. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.